This is Mornings, LA Late. It's a major morning here on Mornings LA. As the markets rebound, had a nice pop now, over 188 points up. But is it justified? While well, the latest details across the board, big stimulus, 2023 stimulus check coming to the millions of Americans. One, it's a combination of three years of checks. We're going to go over all these incredible sums of money in today's recording. These are credible stimulus checks for you, SSI, stimulus checks for you, SSDI, stimulus checks for you, SSA, SSDA, all across the board. We're going to go over all these credible stimulus checks in today's recording, A to C, E to K, and L to Q, then the brand new stimulus check R, unemployment stimulus, and then PEBT stimulus checks. These 2023 stimulus checks are passed. They're a law, and they're massive sums of money. 18 months, you're going to need it, to your recession. Fast stimulus and lots of great money. We're going to go over all these kinds of sums of money in this broadcast. How do you get them? You go right in this video, become a member of a Hawk or a Vowercast, so you know VIP. And again, we're going to go over all these incredible checks one at a time in this broadcast. Then we'll be going into the market rally that is underway. The market was initially up 188 points initially, but is up even more right today. What do we know with that? We'll have the latest details across the board. Then we'll be going over the comments that some analysts were saying minutes ago, right after I taped Afternoons LA. They're reacting to the trading of the market right today, and they're not happy. I'm not either. We'll go over why the market is getting ahead of itself once again. A big new week and a lot of major news coming on this channel this week. On Monday, we have the market rally. Tomorrow, we have the Fed governors. Thursday, more labor numbers. And this week, more corporate earnings. But the great news is massive stimulus. Available to you, SSI. Available to you, SSDI. Available to you, low income. Available to all Americans. We're going to go over these 2023 stimulus checks. Over half a billion dollars of money passed in law. We're going to go over all the incredible sums of the money in today's reporting for the shores of Santa Monica, California. The toast is toasted. The butter is buttering. And the stimulus is stimulating on a brand new morning's LA from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Let's get to all that beautiful money. Let's get all to the breaking news. And it all starts right here, right now. Live on air on a brand new week of January 2023. And here you go. Look at that mark. Up 188 points for the Dow. The Nasdaq up 190, but that was before we went on air. It's up even more right now. We also have the reaction of the markets to the situation and the reaction of analysts to the markets as well. Massive stimulus. 2023 stimulus checks, 18 months, five checks per month, $3,000 a month. This is law. It is law. It's a combination of three years of stimulus checks, 2020. 2021 and 2022. These are stimulus checks for you, SSI. These are stimulus checks for you, SSDI. These are stimulus checks for you, SSA. These are stimulus checks for you, veterans. These are stimulus checks for you, low income. In this broadcast, we're going to go over all these incredible stimulus checks across the board. Stimulus checks A to C, E to K, and L to Q. Then we'll go over to stimulus check R, unemployment, PEBT stimulus. Then we'll go into the market reaction. Macy's fell on guidance, McDonald's, job cuts, Salesforce job cuts, Amazon job cuts. We'll be looking at this big week underway. And the market rally underway today is already getting reaction from me and analysts. And guess what? We're all agreeing. Unjustified. The market's no longer up 188 points. It's up even more right now. Is it justified? Well, the latest details of the Fed governors this week, Thursday, the jobless, lab, jobless numbers, and this all this week, the 2022 corporate earnings. But first, let's start with the major stimulus, 2023 stimulus checks. These incredible 2023 stimulus checks are huge. Why? Because a combination of three years of beautiful checks, 20, 2021, and 2022. It's a combination of all those three years of checks, over half a million dollars. And let's look at the first three checks, A, B, and C. Those were passed by Joe Biden, and they're really quite wonderful. Stimulus checks A, B, and C were done by Joe Biden, and how much money is it? It's a lot of money, folks. 
It's over $100,000 in those first three stimulus checks for you, SSI, stimulus checks for you, SSDI, stimulus checks for you, SSA, stimulus checks for you, veterans, American stimulus for all Americans and all U.S. states who are within the zone of eligibility, and their stimulus checks A, B, and C. We're going to go over all these incredible checks in this broadcast. Then we're going to go to stimulus checks E to K that were passed by Congress, and they're really huge. That bringing us to hundreds of checks, $300,000 fast stimulus, 18 months, 3000 a month, five checks per month. This is all wonderful stimulus. It's law, it's passed. We're going to go over all these incredible stimulus in this broadcast. And then we'll go to L to Q that I found for you. Then we'll go over to stimulus check R, that I found for you. But first, let's far, start with the first three checks, A, B, C. Stimulus checks, A, B, and C for 2023 passed law. And it's a combination of all these beautiful checks from 2020 to 2022, over a half a billion dollars still sitting around. 18 months, five checks per month, $3,000 across the board. Let's look at those first three checks right now. Those first three checks, A, B, and C are great. Stimulus check A, what is it? It's $6,500 to $12,000. It's a 2023 stimulus check for you, SSI, SSDI, SSA, veterans, low income, anyone who makes $75,000 less, go get it. Don't worry. This is for you. $75,000 less is the qualifier. That's it. Americans, all U.S. states, all U.S. territories. Go around the video, become a member, and get that incredible newsletter. We're going to go over all that in just a second. Stay with me as we go over all these details breaking this morning on Mornings LA Live. Stimulus check B is a beautiful fifteen dollars to $80,000 stimulus check. Wow. Now, this is the stimulus check we like a lot. Why? Because this is the one that's paying lots and lots of months of stimulus. Two-year recession, 24 months, is what I've been predicting for over a year. A two-month recession it needs lots of stimulus. It needs 24 months of stimulus. And on average, viewers are getting what? 18 months of stimulus checks. 3000 a month, five checks per month, and it's stimulus check B that's helping them so much. We're going to go over more about each of these checks in this broadcast. Next up is stimulus check C, which is for rent, utility, mortgage assistance, and more. And it's really quite wonderful. Stimulus check C is for rent, utilities, and mortgage assistance, and more. These are stimulus checks for you, SSI. Stimulus checks for you, SSDI. SSA, veterans, low income, all U.S. states, you want to get this incredible stimulus because we're going to have a two-year recession. We're going to know definitively in less than 30 days. That's why you have to stay with this channel. I was the first to predict a recession, and I said 24 months starting next month. We'll have the latest details throughout this broadcast and throughout the day. Now, how much money can you get for stimulus check C? Let's look at the success stories starting right now. Do you want $30,000 of rent? Of course you do. Become a member. Get that incredible check C from Nisi all the way up to Elizabeth. And what about utilities? Do you want $15,000 of utilities? Of course you do. That's what viewers are getting. Initially, it was a 6500 went to 15000 Lynn Glenn getting a beautiful 14 months of utilities. This is stimulus check C. Have you become a member? Go around this video right now. Become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Cows, you know, VIP. These are stimulus checks for anyone who makes 75000 or less. These are American stimulus checks. Combinations of checks. Nancy was at 32000 She went to 50000 Mark was at 32000 He went to 50000 Then he went to 100000 Then 160000 And how about Lorraine? She was at one hundred five. She went to one fifty five. And those are the beautiful stimulus checks A, B, and C. Again, these are the checks done by the President of the United States. But after that, we had other stimulus checks. And who did those come from? Those came from the Congress. And those are the incredible stimulus checks E through K. We're going to go over the stimulus checks in just a second. But first, let's go to that membership newsletter. The membership newsletter is for members. So how do you get these stimulus checks? Step one, go right on this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Then go under the video to where the description of the video is. Top of the chat or pin comment. And they will say, membership newsletter. After you become a member, just click the link. You only have to write down this website. It's at the top of the chat, the pin comment, or the description. It's at news.la.com forward slash newsletter. Launched by me on December 23rd, 2022 as a second place for that membership newsletter. It's so simple. So you don't even have to write down the address. Originally, when you became a member, you had to wait to get the newsletter sent by me to you. I no longer have to really send it to you anymore. 
although I still do the original version, the new location is there, always there. It's at news.la.com forward slash newsletter. So you become a member, you go right into the website. It's that simple. You don't even have to have anything sent to you. You just go right to that website. And what is the website? You don't even have to write it down. It's at the top of the chat, the pinned comment in the description. I do all the work for you. In that newsletter is all these incredible stimulus checks. We've so far done A, B, and C. We've got all more checks coming up across the board. What's important to understand about Congress is they are legislators. Their job is to legislate, not to report news. So they pass a law. They don't tell you they pass a law. It's not their job to tell them, tell, for them to tell you they're going to pass a law. This is why this channel exists. Number one overall for financial news on this subject matter. Number three for financial news in all d d dominions. And that is why you want to become a member. Go right in this video. Join this channel, Purple Hawk, Purple Powercast, so you know VIP. Then go right into that newsletter. You don't even have to write down the address. It's in the description, the top of the chat, and the pinned comment. Then grab the user password for members, the member password for the most recent posts on channel one, channel two, or channel three, the three broadcasting channels, they all use the same password, and go right into that newsletter right this moment. It's that easy. I do all the work for you. There's no even thinking about it. And you go right to stimulus check A, B, and C. Now, we're not done there yet because Congress came along and passed other stimulus checks. Let's go over those next checks, E through K. Stimulus check A is a E is a beautiful $7,500 stimulus check. Wow. Stimulus check F is a beautiful $4,000 stimulus check. Love it. And then stimulus check G, 30% off. Stimulus check H, $2,000. Stimulus check I, an incredible, wonderful $8,000 stimulus check. Go get it. Stimulus check J, $8,000 stimulus check. And stimulus check K, $14,000 stimulus check. Wow. So these so far are A to C from Joe Biden passed law 2023 stimulus checks for you ssi ssdi ssa veterans low income anyone who makes seventy five thousand or less a to c then e to k from the congress then uh now is my turn stimulus checks l to q so these are the beautiful stimulus checks that i found for you and these bring us to even more checks and these beautiful checks are all in, of course, at that membership blues letter. Let's look at those beautiful stimulus checks L to Q starting right now. Stimulus check L is a beautiful, gorgeous um, $100,000 on average loan is three, uh, mortgage. M is a $4,000 grant for you to keep. Stimulus check N, this is my favorite, brand new computer, brand new tablet in the membership newsletter. Stimulus check O, zero down payment, zero closing costs on a brand new mortgage. Stimulus check P, 3% down on a refi and Q, $8,000 stimulus check, wow. So, so far we have now done A to Q. These are all stimulus checks for you. SSI, SSDI, SSA, veterans, low income. Anyone who makes 75,000 or less, married couple 150,000 or less, these are all law past. A couple things for you to know so far. Largest stimulus check so far, $100,000. Smallest stimulus check so far, $8,000. Fastest routing time, two days. Johnny started on Monday. By Wednesday, he had $45,000. By Friday, he had 15 applications and half rejected and half approved. We have lots of great stimulus checks in A to Q. The rent, the utilities, the mortgage assistance, the computer, the, com the, the internet, the tablet, the car, the home repairs, the home appliances, just an incredible amount of stimulus in these beautiful stimulus checks. Here's a couple of broader things to remember about stimulus checks A to Q. It's just heartwarming how well you've been doing. You're doing a great, great job. This channel is now returned back to its original core. Why? Because the original stimulus of 2020 is why this channel launched. People were put on lockdown and they said, I don't know where to get it. How do I find it? How do I do it? Teach me how to do this. Show me how to do it. Show me where I get it. This is what 2023 stimulus is. Congress is not going to show it to you. Congress is not going to teach you. Congress is not a news organization. Congress is not teachers. Congress are not press agents. They pass the law and it's your job to learn about it. But no worry for that. You just watch me. <laughs> I teach you how to get it and I put it all together for you. This is the way 2023 stimulus is done. 
There's no automatic stimulus. You don't sit around and just have money land in your bank account. They're not here to pay your livelihood anymore. They don't do that anymore. And no one's livelihood is going to survive on $600 stimulus check for a two-year recession. This is not a six-month lockdown, folks. This is a two-year recession. We're going to learn in two years, in, in two months. Or, or actually, should I just say one month from now, in February. This is a two-year recession. So $600 ain't going to cut it. $1,000 not going to cut it. It's a two-year recession, not a six-month lockdown. So you need massive amount of stimulus. And I'm covering it for you in this broadcast. The great news is I got stimulus checks for all my different walks of life. You're doing a great job because you're listening very carefully. Don't make it more complicated than it is. So don't ask, when are stimulus checks coming to people who wear purple shirts? Don't make it more complicated than it is. $75,000 less, it's for you. That's it. Go get it. Stimulus checks A to Q. Next up is unemployment stimulus. Yeah, all the subject matters of this channel are back on. Why? Because the economy is going right in a complete circle back to where we were. Unemployment stimulus. So let's go over that unemployment stimulus because why? 26,000 Americans were fired on Friday. From Amazon and Salesforce and McDonald's reporting more firings coming for them as well. So it's important to understand how unemployment stimulus works and how to get it. So, so far we've done ADQ, which are for anyone who is on, who makes less than 75,000. Now we're going to go to unemployment stimulus. If you are fired as a W-2 employee, can you get unemployment stimulus? Absolutely. So how does this work? Two steps. Step one, go to your state's Department of Unemployment, file the claim. Two questions asked on step one. What date were you fired as a W-2 employee? In this example, we're presuming it's October 1st. That's the answer. Then two other questions in step one. Willing to work? Yes. Able to work? Yes. Done. <laughs> the claim is approved. That's that easy. Step two is it going to ask you? To, it's going to ask you to certify for weekly benefits. This is a fancy way of saying, do you want a stimulus check each week? In this example, we're assuming the following facts as what happened with you. You had a job. You loved your job. It was a W-2, and you got fired October 1st. You were unemployed all the month of October 2022, November and December. But by the graces of God, you got another job on January 1st, 2023. You didn't find this channel until July, until April of 2023. So can you get unemployment checks for October, November, and December because you were unemployed, fired from that first job, and still had not found another job? Answer, yes. So at step two, that's where you're going to do unemployment stimulus checks and get those weeks of October, November, and December. And that's incredible. If you found this channel in May or April of 2023, yes, you can go back and get these checks from the last year for those weeks that you were unemployed, October, November, December. That is step two. The next type of stimulus that's heating up 2023 is PEBT stimulus. And that's for small children and families that have children that get discounted meals or cheaper meals in the schools in the pandemic. Yeah, it's being paid in 2023, and a whole massive broadcast is coming to this channel in the next few days where I go over all the amounts in the different states. These are beautiful stimulus checks for PEBT. Next up is Stimulus Check R. Stimulus Check R is an enormous amount of money, and this is bringing us back to the very first day of this channel, the E-I-D-L grant, the PPP, all that great business stimulus. It's back on with Stimulus Check R. It's very similar, and let's look at it right now. The stimulus check R is the employee retention tax credit, which is new for 2023 for millions of Americans. And how does it work? It works based upon the following concept. You had an employee in 2019. You kept them on staff in 2020. You kept them on staff in 2021 for three quarters. While that pandemic raged out of control, how much can you get paid? $26,000 per employee. You heard me right. If you had 10 employees that kept on staff from 2019 to 2020 through third quarter, you're going to get 260000 If it is 20 employees, it's a half a million. Here's the calculation. $5,000 per employee for the entire year of 2020, you kept them on staff. For 2021, it is $7,000 per quarter per employee. The total is 26000 Yes, if you have 10 employees, it's a quarter million dollars. It's insane. So if you know viewers that watched this channel back in the day when we covered all these business grants and they got some money and they want more money, tell them to come on over, become a member and get this beautiful stimulus check R. Reach out to your tax preparer 
for details of it. It is all in the membership newsletter at Stimulus Check R. It is the employee tax retention credit. And there you go. Let's go over some other things we need to know about stimulus today from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Some other things it's important to understand about stimulus for 2024 is that stimulus, excuse me, 2023, is that stimulus is being done this way, the way it was done the original way in this U.S. economy. The way originally stimulus was done in 2020 is the way it's being done in 2023. It's also the way it was done in 2022. You need to pounce as a purple hawk. Donut guy is going to get Zippo in 2023. <laughs> you maybe get a donut, but he won't get any for thing, any stimulus because you got to pounce as a purple hawk. These are stimulus for Americans. If you live in the U.S. state, for you. Live in U.S. territories, these are for you. Don't make it more complicated than it is. Don't say, when is stimulus coming for people who wear purple shirts? They don't pass stimulus checks for purple shirts. Don't ask, when is people in the state of? Don't ask that either. It's American stimulus. It's for Americans in U.S. states and U.S. territories. We have a lot of stimulus in this channel, in this recording. And what's important to understand is that you've done such a great job. If it's a lot to remember, don't worry. Because guess what? I, recover, I repeat the stimulus coverage in all the videos throughout the day. Mornings LA has a lot of shows. There's early mornings at 4 a.m., mornings countdown at 7 a.m., mornings live on air at 9 a.m., which you're watching right now. And then if you watch the noontime show in the afternoons and you miss something, you can pick it up on the next show. Home at 11 a.m., 1 o'clock's afternoons, 2 o'clock's afternoons, and 3 o'clock's a brand new afternoon show today as well. If you caught something in the evenings, you're like, I love that, but I missed it. It went too fast. Don't worry. It'll be covered again on the next evening show. There's five of them. The 5 o'clock, the 6 o'clock, the 7 o'clock, and the 8 o'clock, and the 9 o'clock evening shows every day on this channel. You can't miss it, and you're doing such a great job across the board. So there you go. Stimulus checks A to Q for SSI and SSDI, SSA, and veterans, low income. Then unemployment, PBT stimulus checks, and stimulus checks are for, for my business owners. Let's go over that membership newsletter again right now. Originally... The membership newsletter was in only one place. Now it's in two places. The original place is still there, but the second place is what every viewer is loving. The new second location is available for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You don't have to wait for the newsletter. I don't have to send you the newsletter. I don't send it to you in the second place. It's a website. You just go to the website 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You grab the password for the most recent post, for members on whatever channel you become a member to, channel one, channel two, or channel three, you grab that password, you put it right in to the membership newsletter, the most recent password, and you go right in and grab that incredible newsletter. The password changes generally right after mornings, but before noon time. That's generally when the password changes. You put it right in and you go right in that membership newsletter. Do A, B, and C, E to K, L to Q. Viewers ask me some really great questions over the weekend. I don't own, so which check can I not get? Definitely not A, but there's a lot of checks in there that are for you. B and C absolutely apply for people who rent. Great question. Keep on doing those great questions across the board. In the big second half, we got a very fascinating twist. Let's look at that market right now. So the market right now is no longer where it was where we started this broadcast. Where is the market right now? The Dow is now at 182, up 182, which is about less than a percentage point. The Nasdaq is up a whopping 200, which is nearly 2%. This is really interesting. I haven't had this happen before, but I recorded afternoons about an hour ago, came off camera, Watch some analysts talking on news about this market, reacting to the market up so staggeringly. Again, it was up 700 points on Friday. And guess what they said? They said exactly what I've been saying. Wall Street is acting in pure nonsense. They ignored the report from Friday, the non-farm payroll report. Because as one guy said, even better than I said it. I always say that the, the, the report on Friday had a, had a lower unemployment rate, and that's bad news for you. I'll explain to you why in the big second half. He said the whole report was bad, with the exception of one number, and it was good, and they took the one number, and they ran with it. They ran the market up 700 points. Today, the market's up 188 points. On the afternoon show, I ran the following quote. Um, 
I don't want to say who said the quote, because I think it's the most ridiculous quote I've seen in a long time. The quote is in reaction to the market up 200 points right today. This is a brand new quote. And the quote says the following. Even the Fed is starting to signal to the markets that their work is nearly complete. That's not an opinion quote. That's not an analysis quote. That's a fact quote, a data quote. Is the data, the fact correct? It's completely incorrect. And so ultimately, if people are hearing that, thinking, oh, the Federal Reserve said they're stop, stopping rates, the Federal Reserve did not say that. In fact, said the opposite. Is there anything indicated in the, in, the, in the data that was released on Friday? No, it's actually the opposite. So this week, we have a lot coming up, and we'll go over more about what's coming up in the big second half. The Fed governors tomorrow, labor numbers on Friday, corporate earnings all week long, and the, and the rally underway will have what happened on Friday. Massive layoffs, 26,000 Americans lost their job on Friday. Big companies, Amazon, Salesforce, McDonald's saying more job cuts are coming. This is how the market looked when we went on air, but it's actually up even more. I'll explain the details of this more in the big second half. Get all this incredible stimulus. You deserve it. A big broadcast, a big day, a lot of money, and a lot of great news. I'm excited you're here with me on air. From the shores of San Marcos, California, I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as Mornings I Like continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues from the shores of Santa Monica, California on a beautiful morning to LA as the market was initially up 188, but now it's up even more. The NASDAQ um, was at 190. Where are they right now? Well, let's look at the details across the board. So the Dow is now up 177. Oh, it went the other direction. And the NASDAQ is now up 208. It went the other direction as well. Wow. What a day it is. Fascinating across the board. We're going to go over more about these incredible details and the market rally. What do we see and what do we know and what's important across the board? On Afternoon's LA today, I went over why the market is really treading unsafely. And right after I got off air for that afternoon's recording, immediately some of the analysts said the same thing I said. What do they refer to? They referred to that Friday's report. That Friday report was the non-farm payroll report, and everything in that report was bad news. There was only one good data in that report. And what was at issue was that the markets took the one good data and they ran with it and by running with the one good data they ran the market up 700 points that's a big problem that's why you want to become a member because the, the understanding where this is and where we're going is such a critical point of where we're dealing with this economy let me go over some of the issues at right now on friday the non-farm payroll was report report was released and there's a series of data points in there more jobs are created than expected. That's not good news. That means the Federal Reserve would come in more aggressively. Unemployment rate fell. That's not good news. Also, what did it show? It showed that the labor rate uh, softened. Inflation was coming down. That's actually um, bad news. That would suggest that maybe the Federal Reserve is going to stop. And then more importantly, it showed the unemployment rate dropped dramatically. What does that say? It means that in a report released on Friday, 
all the data in there was bad with the exception of one point. And what's at issue is that if all the data in there is bad with the exception of one point, should you trade up the market 700 points? No, you should not. You should not trade up the market 700 points. And that's what's going on today. Again, there's nothing in the data to suggest that you should be trading up this market. What's at issue is that the economy is really not assessing risk correctly. A recession starts in less than 30 days. Everyone agrees. Do they agree it's a two-year recession or two-month? No, they don't agree. We will learn. But what they're doing is that they're rallying up the market based upon wrong data. And those Fed governors are ready to come out and say, stop it. The quote that were released today said that the market's are rallying up based upon the belief that the Federal Reserve is close to finish. No, they're not close to finish. The Federal Reserve said in their latest FOMC minutes release that they are not close to finishing in anything. They need inflation down to a 2% and lease any meaningful downward trend to 2%. So the labor numbers coming out Thursday are not going to be any better, and the corporate earnings are not going to be any better. What's at issue is that until Wall Street understands what they're doing, or at least stops what they're doing, we're in big trouble. Because job of Wall Street is to assess risk. And if they're not assessing risk, then what happens when risk hits? They have not embedded the, 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 the downward spiral in the markets. Let me go over the importance of assessing risk which I'm not alone in saying this today. Someone else said this on air just a few minutes ago as well. I said on afternoons, and he said it, and then I, I'm saying it again right now. The job of the markets are to assess risk. What are assessments of risk? Uh, Putin invades another country, or um, uh, China does something for trade. You assess risk. What's the likelihood that China hurts our trade imbalance? You know, a 2% a risk, uh, or a half a percent risk. So you, you assess risk, and you keep the stocks lower, the, the markets lower based upon the risk. The markets are not <laughs> assessing risk on anything lately. And all they do is assess everything as great news. That's dangerous. Rose-colored glasses, yes. Assessing risk, no. And what happens? When the event happens, which had a very high assessment of risk, its risk assessment value was you know 80% likely to happen, and they did not trade down the stock, then they get left on the wrong side of the situation. Here's an example. Let's say you have an asset that's worth $100. And there's a risk that that asset goes to $40. What is the probability of the risk that the asset goes to $40 from $100? 80%. Okay, so you have to do something accordingly with behavior to be prepared if the asset goes to $40, even though it's $100 right now. Wall Street is not doing that at all. All they're thinking about is the asset going from $100 to $200. Is that dangerous? It's insanely dangerous. Their job is to assess risk. They're not even assessing risk. They're thinking everything is positive news. So let's go back to what they did on Friday. The non-farm payroll numbers were released. And the most important number in there? Unemployment rate. Why? The Federal Reserve has a dual mandate. Maximum employment and also price stability. The lowest inflation. If inflation's high and unemployment's low, they'll do things to get inflation low by making unemployment worse. They've said that. That's not analysis, that's data. So the Friday numbers showed unemployment dropped more than expected to a 4.5%. Wall Street looking for 4.7%. That would only mean one thing, according to the Federal Reserve's own mouths. They're gonna make unemployment worse to get inflation down. Did Wall Street see that on Friday? They saw it, they ignored it, they ignored it 100%. They said of all the data on Friday, more jobs created than expected. That means the Federal Reserve is going to come in more aggressively. Lower unemployment than expected. That means the Federal Reserve is going to come in more aggressively. Uh, numbers from the prior month reassess. That means the Federal Reserve is going to come in more aggressively. And the last number in there, salary inflation slightly eased. Oh, the Federal Reserve is going to stop. Ridiculous? It's insane. It's not ridiculous. It's insane. And... The markets traded up 700 points on an insane nonsense. It's not even like, you know, maybe it's possibly right. It's ridiculous. It's like the planet Earth is flat. And it continues to quote the quotes today. The market is now up 179. And here was the quote. Even the Fed is now signaling, starting to signal the, to the markets that their work is near complete. No, <laughs> the Federal Reserve is not signaling to the market that their work is near complete. 
The Federal Reserve hasn't said anything. The Federal Reserve released their minutes on Friday from the last FOMC meeting, which says we need to get inflation to 2%. And a meaningful trend, we're down to 2%. We're very far away. We're at 8%. It's not like we went from 8 to, to 3 and, the, and that this person gave this quote. No, <laughs> we're still the same way. Nonsense quote. Running is fact. It's false fact. It's, it's, complete, it's complete incorrect. And the market's up 200 points. What is the market doing itself? The market is doing a sell the Brooklyn Bridge. We covered that all last weekend. We covered it at the end of last week. And I said, how much more is the block going to do this? I got to tell you, get ready to see the market down. Let's choose a number. I say, I say like an 1800 point crash. There's going to be a 1,000 to 2,000 point crash in this market when someone just really just, you know, you know what I'm about to say, but I'm not going to say it on air. At those analysts that keep on ignoring the Federal Reserve's own words. Let me go over what one analyst said on camera minutes ago, not on this channel, but somewhere else, uh, not on YouTube, but on broadcast TV, right after I recorded an afternoon show. He said the Friday data was all bad or all data that would signal the Federal Reserve is going to come in more aggressively bad, and that there was only one data point in there, and that Wall Street grabbed onto that easing of, of salary inflation. Yeah, that's what they're doing. They're ignoring the totality of the data to grab 5% of the data and say, here's the story, run the markets up. He said that's dangerous, because ultimately what's going to happen is the entire market is, has not assessed risk, and when someone finally says, you know what, what you're doing is incorrect, they're going to be on the wrong side of the trade. And everything is going to go under really badly. This is not even the recession. <laughs> this is not even the recession. There's a recession, and the recession uh, will manifest itself in the next, you know, 30 days. Let's go over what we have with this market right this week. So what would take the market to have a reality check? It would really take a Fed governor two or three to say some more. Now, why do I say two or three? Because there have been Fed governors like Ashari in the last seven days that came out and said, stop doing this. They're not listening to them. We're going to have more Fed governors tomorrow and the day after. We're going to have the long-term jobless claims released on Thursday. It's being released every Thursday. It's getting worse. Market's ignoring it. And I really do think that the markets will listen to corporate earnings. If there's a target at Walmart and they say, we do not have the demand for our consumers to buy our goods, and we're projecting uh, the year to be flat or negative or something like that in retail or consumer goods, then they cannot take that same stock and trade it up. It doesn't make sense. When they're told by the stock that they own that the economy is in big trouble, we don't have people buying our products last year, we will not have people buying our products this year, that's when they'll realize, uh-oh, um, I should stop doing what I was doing. On Friday, between Amazon and Salesforce, 26,000 Americans were laid off. Yeah, you heard me that. You heard it right. Macy's got downward guided on Friday. And McDonald's said, big jobs, cups of cutting. Why would the market celebrate a beleaguering 26,000 employees laid off, including Amazon, on Friday? Amazon is tech heavy. The market for the tech stocks is up dramatically right today. Celebratory? No. <laughs> Let's go over some of the breaking deals we're dealing right now. The Dow is currently up uh, about 2% for the month of the year. It is sitting 9% off of its all-time high. It is up 85% from the pandemic low. The NASDAQ is up 1% uh, for the month and for the year. It is sitting off 35% off of its record high. Piper Sanders upgraded Uber today, believing that Americans cannot afford a brand new car because the price is too expensive, I agree. And they said instead of refixing the car that is older, they will Uber. I find that fascinating analysis. Do you like that analysis? Jump the live chat. Uber, yes. Uber, no. I say Uber, yes. I find that fascinating analysis. You don't have the money to buy for a brand new car. You rather Uber than fix the old car. Wow. I think that's fascinating analysis. Uh, and there's a very, very, uh, very big nurses' strike underway. I missed that for afternoons. Two of New York's largest city hospitals went on strike Monday in dispute over pay and staffing. It's uh, Montefiore and Mount Sinai in Manhattan. Montefiore is in Bronx. That's about uh, 7,000 uh, nurses. 
And uh, the governor stepped in to try to urge the hospitals and the nurses to follow, follow a, uh, find a solution. Here's an example of how ridiculous the markets are. Bed Bath & Beyond was down dramatically last week, uh, saying that they will not have consumers buying their products in 2023 like they thought. You would keep the stock down, right? You would not buy the stock, would you? No. The stock is up 26% in pre-market trading today. Nonsense? It's nonsense. It's left and right. And here, let's go over some more details about stimulus to end the day. So what's important when doing stimulus is you're doing a great job. You're doing a really great job with stimulus. You're listening to the recordings. You're becoming a member. You're going to the membership newsletter. Step one, watch the recording. Step two, go into the video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Powercast, you know, VIP. From channel one, channel two, or channel three. Then grab that password for members, the most recent password, for members on the member posts on your channel. The member password is changed generally right after morning to LL8 and right before the noontime show, generally. Put that password in there and start applying for check A, B, N, calling for C, and getting stimulus check N, and continue across the board. Don't make stimulus more complicated than it is. Don't ask when is people with red shirts getting a stimulus check. Don't ask when people are stimulus checks in this state getting a stimulus checks. It's federal stimulus from the federal government for Americans. It's for 75000 Let's go get it. I'm really excited because 2023 has so much stimulus. It's a combination of 2020, 2021, and 2022 stimulus, over half a billion dollars. All the stimulus is not expired, and Congress's job is not to tell you about it. So they're not going to tell you about it. You're not going to see it in your local news. You're not going to see it in the newspaper. Their job is not to tell you about it. My job is to inform you about it. Day one this channel was me going on air explaining, here's some stimulus. Here's how you get it. Americans didn't know what it was. They didn't know how to do it. Unemployment had not even launched. PUA had not even launched when this channel went live on air. People sort of maybe kind of heard about EIDL and PPP, but they weren't really quite clear about it. There were more rounds of it. They didn't know how to do it. They didn't know what it was or what it was. That's where we are right now. 2023 has big stimulus from A to Q for you, SSI, you, SSDI, you, SSA, you, veterans, you, low income. We have unemployment stimulus for those 26,000 people fired on Friday, W-2 employees. We have stimulus for families with children. We have stimulus for businesses. One of those original viewers is that you from the EIDL grant of the PPP days. Come on back because this employee retention tax credit at Stimulus Check R is a lot of money, 26,000 per employee. A lot of money for stimulus in a brand new year. You're doing such a great job. If you miss anything, watch home at 11 o'clock because we'll be going to know more about this incredible stimulus then. Then we got afternoons at 1, 2, and 3. Evenings in prime time at 5 and continues thereafter. You're doing a great job. Become a member and keep on doing everything you do. And keep on assessing risks. <laughs> Unlike the markets. Uh, assess the risk of a recession. Assess the risk of inflation. And assess the risk of everything at issue. Including assessing the risk of whether lobster shorts go uh, midstream fashion. <laughs> from the shores of San Marcos, California, stay informed, stay focused, and stay with Ally for more.